Hey, what's going on everyone? Curious Wanderer here. Hope you enjoy my very bad Ender Lilies gameplay. It's been a very long time since I've played and I am very rusty. Today I want to talk about the problems with indie games. Before that, however, let's talk about the AAA games industry a little bit. If you're anything like me, you've probably been gaming for a long time. Gaming used to be a blast, and you could lose yourself in the game for hours at a time. As you got older, you began to notice something. Even though games were getting better visually, and the increase in eye candy was certainly welcome, the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay itself was becoming routine. Somehow, the fun factor was becoming less and less. There's a reason for this. Gaming used to be about making something fun. The people who worked on games were passionate and creative. They loved trying new things. Not anymore. Most games are made with profit in mind first. That means making something safe and generic. Something that developers know will make money. They don't take any risks because if the product fails, the investors will be pissed off at them. Another thing we are largely missing from games now in the wake of the bullshit Me Too movement is sex appeal. Games used to frequently have sexy female characters who were attractive and wore revealing outfits. Now we're more likely to have strong, empowered whamons who act like men and have side shave haircuts. Never mind the fact that erasing sex appeal and feminin femininity <laughs> actually is a disservice to women everywhere because those are core attributes of what it means to be female. So, we have a problem. Games are safe and generic, and they lack the sex appeal they used to have. What's the solution? Well, in my opinion, there is no solution for the AAA industry. The rot is too deep. It is beyond saving, and will eventually collapse under the weight of its own failure. And we're seeing all kinds of failures, like what is happening at Blizzard, for example. Potentially, the solution is the indie games industry. But indie games have some pretty severe problems in terms of variety and creativity. First of all, a lot of indie games are shit. Many are made by people who don't have a clue what they're doing. They just decided they want to make games, and they're not very good at it. Sorting through all of the shovelware in order to find the hidden gems can be a painstaking and laborious effort. Second of all, there's not a whole lot of variety. There seems to be a lot of, shall I say, experiences. Now, don't get me wrong, those are nice sometimes, but I really don't want to play walking sims that are over in two hours all the damn time. I want fun and engaging gameplay, a good story, and interesting characters, and I want the game to be of a decent length. Third, and most damning, and this is my main problem, is that many indies are a direct reaction to the almost total erasure of sex appeal in games. They go overboard with sexualization. Often, the gameplay and story are nothing more than an excuse to justify the existence of the sexual elements. Okay, look, I like sex appeal in games as much as the next guy, but I'm looking to play a game, not a sex simulator. Senran Kagura is a good example of what I'm talking about. Big, bouncing anime titties, but they were also fun games with interesting characters. How about Cortana in Halo 4, best Cortana design of the whole series? Bayonetta is another example. Sexy, saucy, addictive gameplay, fun characters, tons of personality and style. How about the Nier games? 2B, Kaine, A2. They're all babes and wonderful to look at, but the games were superb. The sex appeal just made them better. Unironically, if I want to get off, I'll go to an actual porn site for fap material. If indies want to push back against the erasure of sex appeal in gaming, they need to be more than sex sims or they will never be taken seriously. That's everything.
thanks for watching.